Hey, what's up guys? This is Early Access Control, Alpha, Beta, and Abandon, and I am early and we are chatting about a game called Questscape. Now, this Questscape game just launched in May and it is a multiplayer medieval kind of survival game by Scape Company and it's got a couple of positive reviews. I'm pretty I'm pretty confused about the whole thing. It started off, um, I don't know, it's got like 20 positive reviews and uh, it's a little sussy if you ask me. There's a couple of um, reasons why I wanted to cover this video or, or make a video on this sp specific game. And um, it's mainly because Early Access Control has now uh, developed a confidence rating that uh, we're going to be using to kind of take a look at games that are in Early Access as well as continue to cover the games that have been um, abandoned or are looking like they're going to be abandoned. So the thing about Questscape Survival is it's got all the telltale signs of being a game that has released with positive uh, reviews, but it's not going to it's not going to go far. And I'll tell you a couple reasons. I mean, the one thing is the price point is pretty decent, but the gameplay and the way the developer is kind of going about um, communicating, interacting, and setting up the future of the early access of Questscape Survival it's pointing to a direction of it failing and i've covered games like this in the past but but now we're starting to use um uh, a, essentially a data data driven kind of uh um equation to determine you know if it's going to have a success or failure rate and this is very very close to um being a clear failure rate in our opinion or in my opinion and um so anyways the we cover a bunch of things and um I'll, I'll be divulging more information on our confidence ratings as we move forward and cover more games. But the thing about Questscape Survival is immediately when I was looking to uh, to understand where this game is actually going to go, uh, you know, the developer isn't providing any sort of engagement. So when you got a game that is just launching bare bones with this kind of system in there, if they're not telling you where the future of this game is lying or what's coming down the pipes, do not support it. And I mean, it's it's a flash in the pan and and the developer probably knows this so it's kind of frustrating when all these years have passed people still put out their games and not acknowledge the things that you need you need to have the information up front about where the game's going in the form of a roadmap be engaging with your the people that are asking questions about hey wh uh, what do you think about this or they're testing for you or they're doing these things and also present your communication appropriately through whatever you're choosing to use so most of the time when you launch a game, it's on the discussion board. So you got to get focused and you got to regroup. And if you don't have the time to do that, then you've got to approach somebody or or somebody in your community that's going to be able to manage those kind of things to, to be taken seriously. And, you know, if you're not wanting to be taken seriously, well, then just make your game free. Like, don't charge people for it because then you can do whatever you want it's like i don't review free free games because there's no sense you know I, I don't care if people play it or not i don't care if it goes abandoned or not because it's just a free piece of software or game that people can play around with now the gameplay when it comes to uh questscape survival is it starts off fairly strong gives you a decent quest uh getting out the gates you're in a you, you know you're established in this little old man's nook in, in the, the small world that it has and you, you talk to him and he gives you a quest to going to help a bunch of vi villagers but then that's where it kind of hitches because there are a lot of prevalent bugs sometimes the quest does not work um, it gets blocked somehow something um, doesn't trigger properly and it's it's a work in progress so you can work with that kind of thing um beyond that the world is is fairly generic it, it seems like it's uh, a game that's been developed from you know one of the the templated tutorials you can find out there the um so atmospherically it's not really complete it's um very bone bare bones but you can't um you can't tell tell anybody don't play a game or don't support an early access game just because the environmental impact isn't there yet for you or the you know it doesn't feel quite um atmospheric enough or anything like that because those things can be developed and worked on it's uh, the core mechanics that you're looking at so this is just a survival game you gotta there are discrepancies between various menus and various items as you're trying to craft these things so it's a little bit incomplete or Let's say it's not cohesive um, rather than incomplete. And then, you know, there's there's stuff like there's no real 
you know, character optimization or anything like that. So you just kind of, you're doing this quest and you're making weapons and you're just kind of leaving at that. You can learn recipes and there is that structure of developing the, the crafting side of this. But beyond that, it's one of those things where you're like, eh, I, 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 it's a good start. Maybe you just don't really want to buy too much into it. So there's challenges and you know these are the things that when a game comes out and it and is posted for sale on steam people want to know okay i'll give you the 10 15 bucks for this game but when i'm done the hour of content that you've started here well where are you, what are you doing with my money where is it going right and if there's none of that then how can how can a game survive it's it's so black and white and i don't understand why developers do not clue into this but at least early access control is going to try to um, fine tune our, our our confidence rating, and it's going to make a little bit more sense for people as they go through stuff like this. You know, AAA games, even if we're bringing up something like um, Nightingale. You know, Nightingale is even yeah, that's even tricky. They've got a ton of communication, but they don't have a really great roadmap. And it's one of those things. I'm like, well, I shouldn't say it's AAA. It's uh, but people that were Bioware, and then they started their own. Uh, their own development uh, company but so they have that triple a um thoroughbred skill there but they they're still lacking in in a whole bunch of areas and it's like well our confidence rating will at least elaborate on that and show those kind of things so in terms of questscape survival it's a good demo so far it's got it had a, if the quests are working you can see what's kind of going on but there's zero updates in terms of where this game is actually going to end up and it makes you feel very kind of you know um apprehensive about supporting it or at least it should and if it doesn't you should really rethink about what what kind of games you, you support and and another tricky aspect is that it's got 28 positive ratings um or views on steam and so people are going to think you know this game is, is yeah it could be a good deal but really it's not unless the developer is engaging and if it is only one person that's okay you can do it yourself or you can you can reach out to community members um eventually you know who knows there there could be people there that are willing to to help if you're you know moving and progressing the game along and being transparent enough so with that said the game is it's rough the combat's rough um yeah the ai like um or i guess the you know the npcs as the the enemies as they attack you there are like uh, uh bandits and such in this game and you can kill them and you can loot some various things but everything's very very limited it's very very early stages um i, I don't know what the intent is for where this is going and its next steps so perhaps the developer should really focus on um, providing the community some of that information before you know everyone just forgets about it and then it's just another abandoned game on steam so Right now we're we're sitting at a really low confidence rating. I'll post more of this. This is strictly a video giving you an insight into what the game's um, game's doing and and how it's playing. But uh, all intents and purposes, uh, people do not support this game. There's you know there's zero reason to because the developer isn't um, isn't he taking himself seriously or um, or I don't know I don't know what they're trying to achieve. So please stay away and uh, drop me a comment, like the video. And let's keep um, reviewing some games together. And uh, I've got a lot of exciting stuff coming down the pipes uh, for everyone. So hopefully you're, you, tune around, you tune in and um, we'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye.